In today's video, I want to talk about a very simple concept, and that is how to find a character inside a string in C. It sounds simple, right? But uh, I want you to be very focused because I'm going to take a look at the details about what uh, is going on because many just go over the code, copy and paste and don't really understand what's going on behind the scenes. So to start off, I have included here the string.h library. So that's what we're going to be using. And we're going to be using a function called strchr. That stands for string char or string character, right? And this guy, what it takes is first is the string that you want to search in. So I'm going to say here str and then the actual character that you want to search for. So here I can say, I don't know, let's, let's try and search for uh, the comma here. So what most people do from here is they take this function call and put it inside the if condition, right? So I can do the same. I can start with an if here. So if this is true, then I'm going to print F uh, character was found, let's say. And otherwise I'm going to print character was not found. So we know what happened. So if I try to run this, You'll notice it says character was found. That's because we have the character comma in here. If I try to say, for example, uh, dot or period, then character was not found. So that's correct. That's nice. It works. But why does it work? For that, we have to turn to the docs. So here I have the docs for the function that we are using. And notice that this guy, this guy's signature is kind of interesting. So first things first, you notice that it's a uh, const char pointer, right? So that's fine. It's not going to modify the string that we're passing. Cool. Then we are actually passing in an int. An int. It's um, from what I read, this is just for backwards compatibility. That's why it's an int. But inside the function itself is just converted to a char. So you don't have to really uh, worry about that too much. It's going to be converted to a char anyway. So you're going to have to pass in a char here. But the last thing here that's interesting is this guy, the return null type. We are actually returning a char pointer. That means that it's it can be referenced if you want. But what's that actually? If we take a look at the return value, it says pointer to the found character in str or null pointer if no such character is found. So what's happening here inside our if statement? Well, if we don't find the character, this guy is going to return null. And what's null? Well, null is just the value zero, right? And what's if of zero? That's false, right? Zero is uh, treated as a false uh, value, right? So when evaluated here, we're going to go to the else branch. Makes sense. If we get back here a pointer, that pointer is guaranteed to be different than zero. It can be zero. So we should be getting here a true uh, value back, right? Whatever value that's not zero is true inside an if statement, right? It makes sense. And then we're going to go and execute this. So that's why this if statement works. Now, the nice thing about the return value for this function is that if you want to not only just check if that character exists inside the string, but also like uh, do some post processing, you can by taking the return value. So I can say here, uh, let's say char pointer and save it somewhere in here. Um, let's say result equals this guy. And I can just still check result here. That's not a problem. Uh, it's going to work the exact same way, right? It's going to, it's going to say character not, was not found. So let's change this to a comma so that we get character uh, was found. So if it was found, let's try and print out the position of that character. Well, since this guy is a pointer and we know that str can also decay to, into a pointer, what can we do? We can simply subtract one from the other. So since this guy is going to be further down along the uh, memory, right? Uh, we can just say result 
minus str and that's going to give us the position at which this uh, this comma here is going to be found inside our string so I can say here uh, let's say int position equals result minus str and if I try to let's, let's print this on the screen let's say print f and uh, position percent d another backslash n and say here pause and if I try to run this now you'll notice I get position is 5 and is that correct let's find out so, here. so this is position 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right so this is what you can do with the result of strchr it's quite it's quite useful so you don't have to uh, sort of iterate over the whole string and search for it again another thing that people use that sort of confuse some programmers is they compare this this result to zeros they say if a result is not zero for example uh, it's okay it's going to work the same way it's going to say okay well if this is if this is null which its value is zero uh, then it's going to go to the else route to the else branch otherwise it's going to go to the if branch but um, zero is not a pointer so it's not evident that this result if we were to replace it for example with the code itself is actually a pointer so I would actually use the use null here instead of zero so that it's much more obvious now that oh okay so I'm getting a I'm getting here a pointer and I can actually use it like what's right the next question that comes to mind is well if it's a pointer what's that pointer all about like where is it from what does it do and as it turns out it's actually a pointer to that exact character that's nice um, another thing is well this this works by the way another thing that people don't realize is that um, th they can both get the first and the last occurrence of this character uh, so I can say here for example e and since we're already printing out the position we should get what we should get actually one here because e is at position one right so that's correct but what if we want the second e here the last one the last occurrence of that character well we can simply use a function that is similar to this one but it does get the last occurrence which is called str r c h r r i think uh it's from reverse right so if i try to run this now you'll notice character was found so that's correct but i get position 10 and position position 10 should be our e here if i so this is position 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is at position 10. Right. So this, these are just a few things that you should keep in mind when using strsthr, right? Just remember that there's a function that can get you the last occurrence of that character and there's a and you always get the uh, pointer to that character as a result, not just true or false, not just one and zero, right? So I hope this was somewhat useful. And if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.